Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be unboxing Taeyeon's second studio album, Purpose. Um, I will also be reviewing the album and kind of chatting a little bit about Taeyeon in this year and hopefully the future uh, release that she has, kind of more chat about that as well. Um, before I do get started, I like making comparisons to um, sizes um, when it comes to packaging so people have an idea how big um, the album is. So here is a jewel case comparison. Um, so it is pretty big. Um, let's see on the... That's how thick it is. It is... Um, pretty big album um so i just completely love that sm gave her a special edition now i also want to make a comparison to um girls generation solo standard packaging that they usually have um just for the so on to kind of collect um their albums this is how big it is compared to the regular size, oh, sorry, the regular size packaging that they put out um, with SM, um, and I am an OT9 stan, so Jessica's packaging is a little bit different, um, but for the most part, it's like within like the same size. Um, but yes, uh, I'm really, really, really happy with this um, release. So here's the front, as you can see. Um, let me see if I can, okay, there, and the back, okay, so it says, when I become filled with a lot of thoughts from the changes I go through during, li during life, even if something changes me eventually, that also becomes me, and I will find a more expanded version of myself instead of being replaced. Need to always focus more on the unseen side of me. So, I think this album is very special for Taeyeon, um, since um, the title has a lot of meaning, and I think even on some articles she kind of explained um, how important this release was for her, and even in some fan meets I read here and there, how just this kind of resonates a lot with her life and all of that so yeah let's get started <laughs> so we have a photo of Taeyeon in the fields okay and sorry for the glare um but so we get 12 songs in total. Um, so it's a pretty solid track list um, that we have from Taeyeon this time around. Um, I will kind of discuss about each track um, after I kind of show what the album looks like and discuss a little bit how unique this release was um, for maybe fans who may not have known some details. Um, and this is the second album, so this is her second studio album. And she looks absolutely stunning in all of these photos. Okay, at least that takes away the glare a little bit. There, you can see that photo right there. I guess I'll just lift. We get lyrics. And yes, just the whole th aesthetic of this release is just very pleasing to, to look at. Um, she looks absolutely stunning in these photos. And um, the teasers that she had, um, the individual teasers for the, each song kind of had some, um, 
of the background I mean some of the videos were um, included kind of these backgrounds um, for the photo shoots that she was doing love you like crazy and yeah if you're a town stan i definitely recommend getting this for sure there's so many pictures and the the photo book is just absolutely stunning like oh, i love this picture of her oh town get an ad I put my photo card away on my photo card piles, but so there's Tan with her. The overall quality of this photo book, like the material, it's pretty good. Um, I would say that I was a little bit um, worried about this being uh, a little bit, um, I don't know how to describe it, but have like very flimsy packaging um because i preferred hardcover albums um since like the the corners and just the overall packaging is less likely to get damaged and that's why when i look i initially looked at the pictures for like the like the um, packaging photos for this I had I thought this looked like it had a hardcover um like you know the usual albums but when I saw an unboxing I I, I was a little bit worried about oh she looks so cool there that's from the music video and then the credits and yeah that just sticks like that and here is the disc um let's see what we got here it i think it just repeats what it says on the back so Oh, and then you also get the track list here on the back. What it you can, it's, I didn't realize it. Um, so, um, like I was saying, this flimsy um, packaging makes me like anxious <laughs> that this is, it can get damaged very easily, and it it, it can. But um, it's actually not that bad um compared to some other albums that i had um what i would have per i would have preferred they had like a hard cover so it would look more um just it would look better and fancier and just it would last longer but um overall i'm very pleased with the photo book um i'm glad that she got like a special edition for this um, <laughs> um so I thought they were going to include like more tracks, but I, and then again, they were just really a repackage for that. Um, but I would recommend getting this if you are a Taeyeon, uh, Stan and Girls' Generation and so on. Um, and in general, this, I would, as, and before I kind of talk about 
this album. Um, I was a little bit upset that I didn't get like the regular edition because it the albums look so neat when you put them together um like all the solos like this and then you have all you like you have yuna yudi uh tiffany sohyun um still waiting on you know sunny to get her solo and Young as well and hyoyan to have like a physical release so i can have them all together um but i I'm okay with this because I love the album so much. I, I and I'm not gonna get the the regular edition of this, um, just because it's just I don't have the money or the space to kind of just have every version of everything. But I'm very satisfied that I got this version. Um, but um, yes, the only thing I would change about this packaging that it, it would. I would have preferred if it was a hardcover, but if it was a hardcover, the price would obviously increase by a bunch and the shipping from it, from Korea would also just be more expensive as well. So this album is already pretty heavy on its own. So yes, now let's talk about the tracks. Let me see if I can put this here. Okay, just to kind of um, go one by one. So, um, the overall vibe of this album, I would say, is like the it's like a mix of R and B mixed with pop, some rock, um, and it's just if you are very familiar with Taeyeon's overall vibe and her voice. She is perfect for these mellow, ballady, mid-tempo type of songs that, like, it's just, like, for example, I is probably one of the, like, the best um, introductions to what Taeyeon's voice works best in um and she just delivers every single time like she can sing any genre just to be completely honest and this album it I think it resembles mo a lot to the her first mini album um but just much more grown much more mature um and it I wouldn't necessarily classify this as a K-pop release, um, even though she's like a idol and all that. But her overall vibe now seems more of just um, a little bit adult contemporary type of <laughs> sound. I don't know how to, how how else to describe it, but it's she's not necessarily like, for example, when Taeyeon release like why um that's more of like, like a k-pop sound and she has been moving on to just um just a little bit more grown um and you can tell like she had a lot of input in this release because um like i don't know it's just it just it's very cohesive also i think i, I would discuss as well with this album that I don't know if a lot of people have talked about or not. And obviously within the fandom, it's pretty well known. A lot of these tracks were already kind of released, but not released because she got to sing pretty much this whole thing um, on her concerts. Like, she, I don't know. Um, I forgot what, the, what concert series she sung it in. But she has gotten to sing pretty much almost everything in here um and if it wasn't already like released like for example like blue and four seasons we already had like a like a digital single with that um but she got to sing these songs on the concert which is a really cool kind of gift to the fans since um you know obviously everyone's 
constantly anxiously waiting on new music and everything so I think that prob and it's a really good strategy in general of the response from the fans and just the general public because certain like um fan cam fan cams and concert videos that like, go viral and stuff just to see uh people's response to maybe what this album is going to sound like before it's necessarily uh released so very smart choice and i think um it, it was great to kind of see each of these songs have some get their own kind of identity within like their like her concert series because it's just it gives it its own like time and place where like it get it gains this like following in a way i don't know how else to explain it but each of these songs has gotten a certain following so for example i was not aware that she performed love you like crazy and i saw a fan cam for it a couple months before this was released and I completely fell in love with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hope she releases this song with the new album. Um, and then I think Gravity was also uh, performed. So a lot of these songs um, got a bit of a following. Um, and what would kill me was if um, she was to perform something and I included in a release. Because I pretty much love almost every song Taeyeon puts out um because she can really just sing anything and that's just my opinion I mean everyone's opinions vary so um now um my standout tracks for the album are Here I Am, Spark, Find Me, Love You Like Crazy, Wine, Do You Love Me, Gravity, Blue and Four Seasons um I would not take out any of the tracks in here. I enjoyed all of them, but they really, like, those are the songs that stood out to me the most. Um, it's just, and the lyrics are just so beautiful. Like, everything about this is just, yeah, every time I listen to it, it just leaves me speechless. Her vocal delivery and how she's able to not only just hit the notes and everything, you you can feel when Taeyeon sings certain songs um and that's a special touch that's, that you it's only very few people can really do that and Taeyeon is just a master at it um now just to kind of at least finish this quick video quickly not since I'm kind of rambling I'm really happy with her solo uh, mini album that she had in Japan um, I don't know when I will get that, but hopefully soon uh, I will get it. Um, and yes, I hope she releases another studio album next year. And then we have a girl's generation, like um, either a subunit like OGG or um, obviously like a solo from the remaining members that haven't gotten any kind of chance to release a physical release. Um, and yes, I just love the, the route that Taeyeon has taken, um, and obviously with all the news about, like, Sully and Hada, it's really heartbreaking for me since I kind of grew up listening to them and watching their shows, and they are a huge part of my childhood. Um, hopefully she is in the right space, and next year is a better year for her, because these are our really close friends of hers. It's just, yeah, and Taeyeon has been making headlines uh, because she's been so outspoken about some of her um, personal struggles. Um, so I wish her, like, the best and that she's healthy and happy and she gets to do whatever she wants because um, she completely deserves it. Um and yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, I will do a haul um, with a lot of the things I've been getting. Um, and yes, um, I hope everyone is, um, has a great uh, winter um, and everyone's safe and healthy. Bye.